iPhone 7, the guy tried to change his own screen and uh, probably didn't disconnect the battery or maybe or connected it too, too soon before the, the connectors were connected properly and he uh, blew the black light. So the back light, not the block light. Um, so to confirm, you know, you shine a bright light in the middle of the screen, you should uh, start it up and you should see a little faint Apple logo in the middle of the screen. Okay, so that's how you confirm it's a backlight issue. So now the question is, you know, I know these connectors have been finicky. So uh, the backlight filter is actually on the back of the logic board, so there's really no way to test the, the filter um, without disassembling everything. So you really don't, I mean, easiest way to do it is to, e easiest way to confirm whether it's a backlight filter or not is the three pins for the backlight are located on J4502, which is the display, which is the LCD uh, digitizer connector built into one. And it's these bottom three pins here. Okay, this first pin right here is a cat one. Let's see if this is it or not. No, nope, this is not it. Okay, so these these three pins right here are the, ba are, are the backlight. And what happens often is that uh, maybe the connector, you know, it's not connect, it's not properly snapped in place, and then uh, this this shorts with ground somehow, which is the anode line. Okay, so there's this the there's one ca cathode line right here, one anode line right here, and one cathode line right here. So from past experience, I know that the cathode line is going to be 0.61 something uh, in diode mode, and this is going to be 0.51 to 0.54 something in diode mode, and same with the other cat line. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to confirm that it is indeed a backlight and not not pin on the connector. And make sure you do this with the battery disconnected, okay? So, the red to ground, black to the pin, and I'm getting 0.613. This one's OL, and this one's 0.613. So, right there, the OL tells me that the filter is blown because there's no connection to the to the chip, to the backlight IC. So, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this and replace the backlight filter, and that, that should fix the problem. Um, all right, so here is the back of the logic board, bottom of it, and as you can see, this thing blowed out. So this is actually the backlight filter right here, and it kind of just scooted out of the, scooted out of the black stuff that was holding it in place here. So it actually blew out, scooted over, and then reattached itself to the other side. <laughs> so let's just put a little flux on it. I mean this is, this is going to be a relatively easier pair here. So get a little flux on it. Uh, wet your wet the tip of your soldering iron. Um, in my instance I'm using the JBC NASE1B. It's the best one out there. Okay, So get rid of that old filter. Uh, tin the pads. That'll make your life a lot easier. And then go ahead and grab a iPhone 7 <clears throat> backlight filter. iPhone 7 backlight filter. Which is somewhere. iPhone 7, nope. Backlight filter. Here you go. So iPhone 7 backlight filter is, is uh, um, 33 ohm 0201. I don't know how many amps it is, but you can find links to all the parts and stuff like that on microsoldering.com. Click on parts and supplies, and then common components. I've made it easy for everyone because I get asked that those questions all the time. All right, so that is done. Uh, let's just clean the old flux up a little bit.
Alright, so let's go ahead and just check diode mode on both sides of this filter and make sure everything is good to go. Okay, so red on ground and black on the pin. 0 0.523, 0 0.523, which means that it's not shorted it to anything. So this is going to be good to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and re 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 reassemble this and test it. Alright, so I just did the bare bones connection. I just want to test the backlight before I close this thing because I don't want to reopen it after I'm done. I'm pretty sure it's going to work, but anyways, let's plug it in. There it goes, bright light. We are back in business. So that is how you do the backlight filter on an um, iPhone 7. And testing, diagnose, and everything. So uh, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. What's up? What's up? I just wanted to talk a little bit about this uh, online micro soldering course that we have. So basically, we have four courses starting from the basics to how to use the XW tools which is the schematic software and we have a course called backlight touch charge which deals with the three most common repairs and then our last course is data recovery what we did was we combined all these courses into one one full curriculum if you want to learn micro soldering um, I would say that this is probably the best way to start uh, so if you want to buy it you know we, we, we have it hosted at udemy.com and the best way to do it is just go to microsoldering.com click on store click on the full curriculum and from there, you can watch some, some previews and some uh, intros to these videos. So if you want to learn micro-soldering, this is the course to get. All right, thanks.